Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today is week three of title defense. We're, be, we're, we're playing round three of the uh, World Championship Tournament, the online hosted. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying, dude. I'm not, I'm, I'm not awake today. Believe me, but we're going to have to do our best. So we're going to be playing a zombies game on the solar system. I need to see where the blizzards are immediately and uh, coordinate around with that. What a spawn here. Okay, so bear with me a second. I need to actually, before I show you the settings, probably pay attention. Uh, blizzard cuts this off. These threes are no good. That's unfortunate. Oh, maybe not. This is a little bit of a honeypot hot pocket down here. What's in here? I don't know. So this blizzard and this blizzard make this a one point from Volcanic Terra. There's lots of weird honeypots on this map, so I need to pay attention to that. <clears throat> so this blizzard's interesting, but you can go through this way. Whew. Okay, we're gonna be playing Zombie Apocalypse, progressive zombies on orbital objectives. We have fog and blizzards on, no alliances, no portals. We're in round three, the World Championship Tournament. We're, we won round one and round two. We had a good start. Uh, the downside here is of me going so late is people are gonna add in here maybe. I would actually very much love to see somebody add in here and hit the blue too and know they clean this out and then only have like a three left over because then I can clean it and come out here. That would be ideal, clean that and come out here because that is, Mars is a nice plus three, single point from here. Orange is stuck here, causing me problems. Interesting. What's in here? I don't get a bonus right away. Very unfortunate. Um, Where do I put all my troops? Blue's going to knock me out of here too, right? No, five on two is not happening. What's, hap what's in here? Huh. That five guards from zombies. Do I hit this five? It's going to five v two me? No, he goes up. And then he's going out. Okay. So I kind of what's in here? Like, can I get this? I don't know. I haven't seen white yet. I need to make a decision right now on what I'm going for. He's blocking this. So I'm gonna go over. I need to make this a five so this doesn't uh kill it. Well, it's double minus one, right? That'll be a seven. Pray for me. Hmm. I'm gonna go here and then give a fist bump. Like, that's a sorry. I didn't know there were so many white troops back there, honestly. I could have assumed because nobody else went for it, but white was about to take that bonus and now I've kind of screwed him. I'm hoping this pops right here. Uh, the bonus on this map, Uranus and Neptune are the plus twos. There's a bunch of plus threes. And then uh, Mercury and Earth are, and Moons are all four. That probably completely screwed up his plans. I, I like letting his three leave, ideally, right? <clears throat> If it doesn't leave, there's a chance the four goes up. I actually didn't even look at the zombie pathing. The four wants to go any direction except for up, so it's not going to go up. Up is like it's its fourth best choice out of five. Damn. He's leaving. Okay, good. Yes, there we go. Nice, and he's got a four here. I can actually take this bonus next turn. And the four doesn't get popped, so it will stay there. But I'm going to have this little bit of a honeypot. Now, does this seven go in here? If it cleans this out, I'm loving that. Because I'm going to take this bonus and maybe look at this next. If it doesn't, it means somebody took this. And now the seven's looking at it. And the zombies will double next turn. I might actually be able to take two bonuses this turn. What's this? Six. Okay. This blue five protects me and he sees me here. I think he's going to go in here with it. Our opponents, by the way, we got Rayleigh Lala, Master, with Grandmaster in 1v1. So probably Grandmaster and Grandmaster. Intermediate for Miko, 42 hours played. 
Orange. Blue is Aqua Nyx, a Grandmaster. A lot of hours played. I'm surprised he didn't take this bonus. I wonder what happened. Maybe because my 5 was here and my 2 was here. He didn't want to fight. And the, the fact that he ignored my 2 and moved over here means he kind of went for something else, right? Purple's got 3. Didn't get a bonus. Goes here. Purple's playing a multi-positional game without bonuses. Interesting. I want to know where this 7 wants to go after it goes up. Its next preference is into this 3. It goes up and out. So I can actually move the 4 up and just let it go. Maybe I can actually move into the egg and then let it go, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to let the 7 come out and cause mayhem. Uh, what else have we got? Aquanix. We've done Aquanix. Now, North Rend Tarles, Master Player. 256 hours played. All right. So what? Master, a couple Grandmasters, and an Intermediate. Pretty tough lobby. <clears throat> Progressive Zombies. What did Orange start with? I need to pay attention. Six troops for Orange. Orange has... A plus three immediately and says, thanks. What does he have? Upper Jupiter or lower Jupiter? He actually didn't even take this. He's still looking here. He's going to lose this three when I move out of the way. I'm letting this seven's going to turn into a 14. I'm definitely letting it out this way because it goes into this three. Wait, where does it go from this three? Uh, looks like it goes into the middle, into my two. And I don't see a red arrow. Interesting. Oh, it wants to go back. Okay, so after the red arrow would be orange. Should be down. Down and in here. So it would actually follow through here. Interesting. But if I if I lose that... Okay. Blue started with five. Huh. So here's my play. When it comes, it comes in here, what way does it go? Down. Okay, I want it to go down. I need to do multiple attacks right now. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, that's good. I need to get out of the seven's way. And then I also need to get out of its way if it somehow makes it all the way through here. Like this. Send a fist bump. This is a tough game. Uh, White has a six also. Okay, so White also has a plus three somewhere. I think he's got satellites and space station. Purple knocked me out of here, but I don't remember if White was here. He's not breaking me. I don't lose this position. Perfect. He's rolling other things. I do ideally want a second bonus. So if somebody has five, who got five? Aquanix. I think Blue's in here. Does the seven want to go down? Does the 14 make it down? No, he's got a big enough stack that the 14 doesn't go. And yeah, now it's going to knock this stuff out. It's going to hit this 3 and then my black 3, unfortunately. Yeah. But is it going to hit enough to hit this 5? No, it stops against the 5. Okay. So whatever stack is in here is going to come out into Saturn from Blue. Blue's going to have a honeypot from here. He's going to take Saturn and have a plus 5 here guarded by the ring. What's it called? Equatorial port. Sorry, if you guys are watching on mobile and stuff, I'm sorry I keep zooming out so far. To uh, I, It's just a habit. I zoom out as far as possible so I can see everything, but I like there's no point being like this, right? It's just hard for me not to zoom out all the way. I'm going to unplug my mouse so my cord's not being all weird. This is going to be a very tough game to do well in. Like, Blue had to put troops here. Like I don't know. He wants this, too. If he adds, he gets five troops. If he makes an 11 and tries to clean me here, it's very unfortunate for me. Uh, he's going to move out of the way of this zombie stack, right? There's a big zombie stack here and then a fortified. It's going to do big stuff again. Yeah, he's leaving. Okay, so as the zombies come through there, they go into this one. And it wants to do what? Go into the blitz. It comes out. Zombie stack wants to come out. I mean, that would be cool if it did go through orange into the sun. Maybe I could take this bonus. <clears throat> Blue gets five, right? Yeah. He's going to come out right here. I want him out of this bonus, but he's somebody might be here. And we might just be butting heads here. Now he sees Saturn. Zombies come out and up. Can I do this? Can I force the zombies out and up? How big is this stack? It was not big enough to kill a five, so it's a nine? I don't know how much they lost on my three. Can I see that, actually? 
They lost four on my three, so they have an eight. Then they fortified maybe back a little bit, so it's a six or a seven. Huh. huh. Where's my easiest card? I kind of want the zombies to come through here and hit the six, right? There's a chance they come through and hit the six for me. My three here is trapped from cards. Two. I'm, I, I do have three on my turn. Probably going to do this. Ah, I had to lose a troop on that. Maybe we trade there? If the zombies are big enough to come through and hit this six, if they get blocked here and they make it through here, white is still getting six, right? So we're all holding a bonus. The zombies may infect somebody, and I'm hoping it's not me. I have a seven and an eight for stacks. So if the zombies infect, they're more likely to infect a larger stack. So the 10, maybe? Obviously, I can still get hit if they infect. These settings are tough, man. They're very snowball-y settings with broken blizzards. <clears throat> uh, they don't have the most bo broken blizzards right now, though. Like, the the biggest honeypot is this plus 5 by 1 point, right? But if you try to expand it, you have a 3-point guard. Or, I guess, 2-point guard here. Uh, zombies get, what, 64? This 6 turns into a 12, comes through. Maybe it doesn't go up. My hope is this is big enough to kill this six. Okay, it goes through the middle. My next plan is maybe just to take this bonus then. Because that zombie's going to run. There might not be any fortifies happening here. Orange just took damage too. If I can take this bonus, that's pretty good. Because then I'll know completely where blue is and blue will be able to take this. I'll take the mercury four and he can have the asteroids three. <clears throat> that was good damage on orange too. And there is, at, at some point, I can really wreck White's day by knocking him out of here. And then he can't do... But he's probably, realistically, the zombies have his stacks in uh, the sun. So he's got to have a big stack in either Hubble or Power Station. So if I do break him, I am opening, potentially, a giant stack here to come knock me out of this pocket. I lose this pocket, I'm dead. So it's actually beneficial to me probably to leave it until maybe the zombies come through on him. Or I think I have a kill opportunity. Which is going to be tough if he's got that bonus, because then he's in this little pocket here, which is harder to get to. Is so often a blizzard on Citadel defense or Picante Peak here? Picante Beef! Purple's got three. Purple has no bonus. Orange has nine now. Does Purple ever had a bonus? No, Purple's never had a bonus. Huh. I really don't know if I can get through. If, um, I might have to blitz like a three on two on a zombie here or a three on three. Might be very tough. My goal was the zombies knock this blue six out and then come here and start stacking on uh, here or, or are just weak in here and I take the bonus. But if blue doesn't get knocked out and they go into the middle, I might as well go this way. <clears throat> oh yeah, I start with six. I can kind of just do this. I don't need to trade early refineries a plus two, which is cool. I have to guard from both sides, right? So I probably need to go like this. Orange getting nine is a wee bit scary. There's blue's five. That's a five on a five. Do I try one manual? I think I try a manual and then I try to hold it. Good dice, please. Sixes, six, five, beautiful. So now that three won't affect me. I should be able to hold this. One manual, because if it's a five and it like doubles and explodes, then the five is going to turn into like a 12 and destroy me, right? But if it's a three and kind of doubles and explodes, I think it goes to an eight, maybe a nine. But I don't think it's going to go to 10 from here. We'll see. White gets six. Blue is sad. Why is blue sad? Is white in here adding in here? I forget if white was up here. When I moved off of here, I forget if some who was here or, wasn't zombies, so it could be white. Purple getting four a turn, so that's three. Yeah, three a turn for zombies is great. So 51 means zombies have 17 territories. Actually, believe it or not, I should probably even count that. <laughs> oh, wow! 
Blue loses his middle position. How much do you want to bet? This is basically all of blue. This five. Like, I have access and striking pass on both of them. Trades are going to start happening. Purple's still on three, right? There's no bonus. So I really want to kill on purple at some point. Problem is if purple only is here, they're all going to see it. Yeah, yeah. He's starting to add troops one here. He was going for earth originally. I guess he got clobbered. Orange has a ton of troops he's getting. So he's got lower Jupiter. Maybe he's got... Maybe he came up and took moons? Blue down here. Lower Jupiter. He can't have moons. He has to have two plus threes. So he has to have upper Jupiter and lower Jupiter. Which I guess, yeah, one, two, and somehow we snuck in here. Cool. Yeah, I just need to buff this eight. I need to make sure uh, white can't destroy me. I don't think blue breaks me, so I actually think I get the three and the four, and I'm going to start getting plus ten a turn. So my goal is, if I can't win, just survive as long as I can, look for some bounties with the progressive cards, right? Survive better than others? Purple actually card skipped. Huh. Orange didn't. Somebody go for a purple kill? Where would purple be? He'd have a position up in Earth and then this one? Yeah. Take the bonus. I moved out of it. I mean, if you hit that, I'm just going to pop that stack and then you're in this one position, right? Okay, that's cool. I like that. 10 for me. So we're going to make this uh, 12. I don't think White's going to trade or hit me or anything. I'll make this an 11 and hit the middle. Because I might open a bigger zombie stack by hitting the middle with the 11. kind of want to take a card in here and leave troops here, but I actually don't. Yeah. Definitely taking a card. Okay, 2, 3, 3. That's not that bad. This is reasonable. Blue breaks me. I have a big enough stack to retaliate. What do I got for plus two? Still just this one, which is fine. Oh, white is getting six still. Yep. I'm getting ten. I'm getting the most to turn. Purple's on three, but he's going to have the biggest trade if he survives. Zombies probably slow down a bit. They're getting... They just got 51 troops. What do we get in total? Less than 50, but we're hitting some zombies. White is here. Okay. Did he come from the left or did... So, if his stack is here, that's cool. It's further away if I do... Okay. Yep. Just say thanks. Three at three uh three a turn for zombies. They have 20 territories now. They got 60 troops total. A little bit more costly. If blue doesn't finish this bonus, I will just trade cards with him. Could also hit this purple four and trade in here. Like purple dying is not the end of the world for me either. Like if I don't get his bounty this early in the game, it's not that big of a deal. I would love his bounty. But realistically, if he's in a bad spot, I mean like if the zombies destroy purple. Huh. Okay. Blue's got this guarded, so I can't even go in there. It is what it is. I mean, he knocked me out of there, so I can't even kill him if I wanted to. <clears throat> so that's fine. I don't get Purple's bounty. It's going to get fed to Blue, probably. I mean, I don't even know if Blue's up here, to be honest. I think Blue might be only here and here. So Blue might actually complete this. Maybe I actually need to start working a stack up here. It's tough to think about that, right? Orange has got Jupiter. Is he thinking about purple? No, he can't. He's rolling a lot of stuff. If he overextends, the zombies can swallow you, right? If you hurt the zombies too much. Like, if you hurt the zombies too much, and then we all hold our bonuses, and we all trade in, and then the zombies are weak, they may double instead of getting only three a turn. They may also infect if you hit them too much. Purple's fist bumping blue. Yeah, Blue's probably taking Saturn now. I'm just going to say well played. I think he took Saturn and, and Purple's crying. Which is great for me. Kind of want to take a card in here. Refinery, RC Lab. Where's RC Lab? It's a zombie. Up here it's a zombie. So I can add plus two zombies up there. I wonder if that causes any distress for somebody. Imagine. Imagine I just made a zombie stack so big that people are going to get toasted for it. Yeah, let's uh 
do this. Make a 19 here. I believe I have a trade on three if I need it. Do I trade on three to go for a bounty? Like I would trade on three to go for blues bounty, I guess. I'd have to get him with this nine, but how big was he in here? To be honest, I don't know. I also find out if he comes to uh, Volcanic Terra. Should watch Volcanic Terra and see if that turns into a no plus two. Dust Haven is is uh, held by a human, and this power station is a zombie. Okay, so Dust Station's a human. Where's that? Oh yeah, duh. We know that. 57 for the zombies, so they have 19 territories. They're getting three per territory. They didn't get hit enough. Purple survives. Does he trade and go for a bonus? What's he do? Does he trade and do something? Like, I'm pretty safe behind white, unless white trades for, like, 25 and just slams this. But, like, white knows I'm strong. Right now, I'm just outlasting. Purple has, like, two stacks maximum. Yeah, he might only have one stack. And if he's only got one stack, there's a chance that, like, Orange sees it and then trades on three to kill him or so. trades on four to kill him next turn. Which, it could easily happen. A trade on four to kill Purple to trade on four again. Like, Purple's card skipping probably... probably gets him last. He might have been last anyways, but I think the card skipping helps it. How do I get up here, though? Purple's fist bump. Yeah, Purple and Orange see each other. I think Purple dies to Orange next turn, unless Purple has a set on three. Him saying fist bump is, uh, orange rolled a lot, by the way. Who's getting eight? Yeah, yeah. So he's got Saturn. If all of my stack was on this nine, I'd be able to kill blue. Hmm. Still not on Volcanic Terra, he's guarding it from this ring, right? Don't think the zombies go crazy this turn. Can I trade kill blue trade? <clears throat> That's my question for the next turn, if he doesn't trade. Like, purple takes a fourth card, orange trades, kills purple, trades. 15 and 20 trade are gone. I would get my 10 troops plus a 25 trade. I could make a 62 stack here. I'd have to put 10 here. So I'd make a 52 stack. There's no way blue has more than 30 here, right? Blue's last trade was low. I think I can kill blue. I think I can trade, kill blue, trade, and hold like an amazing position. I'll take the whole pocket. 51, they have 17 territories. So I'm actually hoping... That purple takes a card without trading. Orange trades, kills purple trades. And then I trade, kill blue trade. <clears throat> and then white's still only six a turn, but he's uh, he's harder to get to with this. Maybe orange trades, kills purple trades, goes for white. He knows where white is. Purple takes the fourth card. I want him to trade and kill purple. Yeah, because if he kills purple and gets the 20 trade, that's what I need. Purple says, oops, good game. Did he not find him? Was purple in like Olympus Prime or something? Oh my God. <laughs> Can I trade for 20 and still kill blue? Or does blue get the purple kill now? 47. It's a big play if I go for this. Blue is like 40 troops, 50 troops, right? 20 trade. That was a nine left over? It's an eight. So I have to make this like a 14. I put 11 here. I've got 19 to make here. I make a 46. I have to hit a 13 and another zombie stack. Oh. 
I don't think I have it right now. White's trade, I shouldn't be too concerned about it. Do this. Maybe I could have, maybe I should have. I think, I don't know, it's tough. I guess, would white have been able to punch? Like, I'm also slightly concerned if blue still exists somewhere else. Like, if I full send that and he's still alive, my game's over. My tournament is going to be in a very rough spot if that happens. If I full send him and he doesn't die here. If he's somewhere else in a pocket. I don't think he is. But I'm also trading for 20. Like, I'm on 70 troops. Blue could be on 50 right now. He could be on 60. He was getting 5 a turn. I'm getting more a turn than him, so he could be 55 to 60. If I kill 55 troops plus a couple zombie stacks to get a 25 trade back, it leaves me on five cards. Orange can't get me. Purple probably can't do shit. I don't know about white scenario. I mean, white probably can't kill me. I, maybe I can't... Like, I, I think if I, if I succeed on the kill, I think I'm okay. If I fail the kill, though, it's game. I mean, if blue doesn't trade here, do I? Oh, no, he has to trade. He's on five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Purple card skipped on four? No, he's not here. Space Station East, yeah, yeah. Power Station Core and Volcanic. Power Station Core and Volcanic are all zombies. But this is a human, and then the other one's down here. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of want to... What's he getting? Nine? Thirteen now. He took moons? He must have moons. Orange is very likely in a single position. Lose trades for 20. Does he come out here now? Does he come out and look at my 30 and then think he can kill me? That is a problem. I have 69 troops. Almost worth dabbing, so he knows I have 69, so... Uh... Oh, he's just going to take a card here. Chilling. Okay, I like this. Here's the other question. Can I kill Orin or White by coming through this way? Citadel defense. Where's purple, dude? Is he here? Power station. I want to take the places where I know humans are. Dust Haven and Space Station East. Purple here. No. Okay. He's not. I can rule that out. And I literally got that card that told me Olympus Prime. I literally got the card. I didn't have to check. I think I did. If purple was in that little spot. If purple was in that spot, I mean, that would have been four cards in a bounty. I think the extra attack. I lost a lot of troops on that. I lost 10. Okay, I only lost two on the second roll. The first roll hurt, though. 10 troops to see if I could get the purple four there. Fuck you, bro. What do you get that? Trade? 30? 35, 40, 45. I combine these stacks. Fuck, he's here though. Purple has a trade. That whole time he had the trade. Interesting. The problem is white was only here. I was very good in that position. Now what? Or was fist bumping orange again? Okay. 
16 on my 11. Oh, frustrating game. Yeah. That was frustrating. I lost 25 troops over that. I didn't emote on purpose, right? Oh, he leaves the 13. Like he's kind of trying to get in there now. Interesting. Blue takes a card here. Yeah. He's hitting this. Okay. It's a 60. That's all of Blue's troops, right? A 70? I think that's all of Blue's troop is 70. Huh. Don't have an easy card. I lost eight on that. I might just be dead. I'm not even lying. I'm like, I don't even think that's a trade. I just want revenge on that white player now. I want to full send it to him so hard. Like, the problem with betraying him earlier would have been, like, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. That's a big zombie's turn. Okay, 15 safe. And that kind of guards me a bit. He's going to take a card probably on the weaker territory. This uh, this Olympus Prime will be a much weaker territory than this 20. Zombies did very little that... They're just going to have massive stacks. Jesus. Me getting 7 at turns also very noticeable now. Getting no white. Killing white so hard. What's white starting with? 9. Yeah, he's got both of these. He's not getting knocked out of here. Tell me you're going to kill purple at this point. Then if he does, maybe blue decides to go for orange because it'll be on five. He's hitting a lot of shit. Yeah, okay, purple goes down. Okay. Really dice to Milko. This is gonna be a hundred and something stack. There's nothing I can do. He could go he could trade, kill me, trade, and then go into orange. Try to get orange. And even if he doesn't trade, I have no trade. I'll be sitting on five cards. Fuck me. Hmm. My card situation is very dire. Go here? Can I get here? My only hope is they go for each other, right? Maybe orange comes through and finds blue. Orange knows blue's in this pocket, right? He doesn't have enough troops in a trade to do that, right? The zombies are going to come through and wreck all this. White's trading on four? Not to die, I guess. He hits us 19 and then kills me. Jesus, man.
How much does he have right here? I can't kill him, but I could feed him. I could take that whole corner pocket out and feed him. Ideally, one of these goes down and left, right? I don't know if they do, but that'd be cool, because then this three would survive. No, three... Oh, it goes up? If it goes up, that's cool. Okay. Interesting. Could I trade and then get a cavalry? Trade and knock white out and just hide in this back corner? Yeah, blue took a card here. I want this 30-something to fortify this 12 up big. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> orange trades immediately. Does he go through blue? What does orange start with? Nine. Okay, he got knocked down. After he went hunting, he's only got these two bonuses again. Does he reconstitute moons or something? Or does he go hunting? He could. Uh, if he's coming through the middle hunting, he might find me. Or he'll find one stack. He doesn't know my situation. Maybe he's going... No, he's not going for white. He's taking more bonuses. My goal is to survive. Blue saw the zombie come down and hit my bonus, right? Trades, he adds here. He's going to go for my kill, maybe? He knows I'm getting 7 and not 10 anymore. So he's got to know I've lost a position. How good is he? Grandmaster. 400 hours. Yeah. Or he goes into orange. I mean, I'm the kill, right? Maybe he doesn't find the 51? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll move it. <clears throat> Give him a thumbs up. He's not He's not thinking about my kill. He's thinking about a card. Does he go back? Yeah, yeah. Volcanic, Terra, Core, Greenery, everything but Battle Ruins is a, is a zombie. Or what? Everything but Battle Ruins is a zombie, yeah. Volcanic Terra is a zombie? Oh, he went back. Where's Battle Ruins? Uh, it's in here, right? No? Oh, it's the Blizzard. Okay. I want to keep Volcanic Terra. That's good information. Greenery. Core's in the middle, so I don't need it. That's a trade on three, baby. White's only getting six. Did orange knock him out of here? What did I keep? Spicy grant, spice grants. He still holds spice grants. Greenery and volcanic terra. Greenery, these. Did orange knock white out of here? He's got this bonus, so he doesn't have this one. I doubt he got broken through here. I think he got knocked out. I might be able to kill white this turn. I might be able to trade on three to kill white. Oh my God, 297. That's fine for me. I live. I have to hit a 33 to get in here now, though. Did that go in or up? I don't know which way that went. Spice grounds. Does white die? No. Please don't die. Stay, stay as a 5? No. 13? Stay as a 13? Orange gets 22. How do, so the zombies got in here. Where is white? Bucky trades on three. Is he going for a white kill, maybe? Like, can I kill blue? This is a 20-something, right? If blue doesn't trade? Like, if orange is going to succeed on the white kill here. Okay, let's just pay attention. 22's got to be, like, this pocket. He's holding it from here. Here and here. He's got a two-point, right? He came out. Does he go for the white kill like this? White has to be only in this corner. I think white actually backed all the way off, all the way back here. I think white is fully hiding in the back corner. 
He's going into orange. Blue goes into orange. He sends into orange. I think I can trade and kill white and maybe have a situation here. No, 15 is enough, right? Screw that guy, dude. Thirty covers that, and I get swallowed like this. Zombies cover me, and then I'm in three positions. Forty-two for zombies. No trade on four. Okay, kill to kills North Rend. No, 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 no! It didn't go up. Okay, but he doesn't know how much of me's up here. If he goes searching, he might go all the way up. I have no trade on four. This is horrendous. I wonder if orange goes for the blue kill, though. He knows where blue is. Does he go for blue or go for me? They're still attacking. They're going to come right up here. Orange is, orange potentially has only a 166 here and nothing else. We're in the game, baby. What do we have for cards? New Utopia, Picante Peak, and the Dam. So only Ceres has a, has a, has a zombie. So yeah, he's here. This is a blizzard, and that's blue. Yeah, yeah. So orange is Picante Peak. I think the zombies just completely wiped everything. No trade on four again is unbelievably bad for me. Why can I not just have a trade on four when I need it? Like, if he, well, he shouldn't go for my kill. He's gonna go in the corner. I'm gonna say thanks. Thanks, thanks, and a fist bump. I'm saying thanks and a fist bump because I don't want blue to go for my kill. <clears throat> Blue's knocked out of here. I can move this 15 in. Blue has no trade. I have no trade. I can hide from the zombies. Hide from them from zombies, right? Or is the blue roll out into the zombies? How many? I probably died of blue here. Maybe should have hit the 11 and started running in. I didn't think blue was still here. I thought he got knocked. I thought the zombies came right through here and knocked everything. Orange is alone in here. Okay, with a 127. I can trade kill orange trade. If blue doesn't kill me, I trade kill orange trade punch blue win. Yeah, it'd be a three kill win. If blue doesn't kill me. Does he realize I have an eight here? I'm going to spam oops if he tries to kill me. Just say fist bump. So I'm saying thanks. He's trying to kill me. He doesn't have it. He's got 51 troops left. I'm going to say well played. I'm going to pretend that he didn't ever, never hit me. Well played. <clears throat> now I'm going to spam oops. Did he kill orange? He might be killing orange right here. If he kills orange, I'm going to flag and then just try to get second place. Oh, yeah. He's almost out of time. 
He didn't he didn't finish orange. Holy crap. Holy crap. What? Where are they? The dam or new utopia? That's in here. The dam okay, that's blizzard and that. Okay. I don't know. Um Hmm. Did he see the fortify is the question. No, is this nine die? Oh, maybe I needed more than a nine here. Do I have a trade on three? Ooh, come on. He didn't kill orange, bro. Why didn't he kill orange? Like, why didn't he kill orange? I would have killed, I, I wanted to kill orange there. 69 troops. Uh, zombies actually, okay. He doesn't know, maybe he won't know how many to split off in here. Six lives over here. He goes, if he hits this 41 though, he keeps looking, right? Fuck. If orange trades on three, does he kill blue is the question. Blue dies to orange if he trades on three. Oh my God, if he trades on three, I have a chance, right? Because he can't find all my spots, maybe? Please trade on three. That's my chance to win the game. He trades on three, kills blue. Six, how does blue still get six? How does he still get six? He doesn't have Venus. What? How does he have a three? Upper Jupiter? God, if he has up, no, he can't have upper Jupiter. I see that. Well played. Okay, so he wins, he wins. He's got enough zombies to kill me. Can I white flag? Would he, would he give me second with a bounty? White flag and a fist bump. Well played. Good game. White flag. Fist bump. White flag. Victory. Thanks. That's it. Bro, if he gives me, okay. We get to, if we if we get the second we have the one bounty we did about as best as we could. Um, I think Blue made a major misplay not killing Orange the turn before, but I don't know his vision at that moment. Um, and the, him blocking me from getting Orange, oh, that was my win. Obviously, I couldn't get through 125 with like a 70 stack. Uh, he if Orange had a trade, Blue loses there. If Orange had a trade, he kills Blue there, and I have a small chance. Um, but that's, that's about it. I think I played it as well as I could, especially after White got me out of this bonus. Maybe, okay, I'm not going to say I played it as well as I could. Maybe there's there's things I could have done different, right? Like in hindsight, I had to betray White here before White betrayed me. So at some point, I needed to, to knock White out of here. But as far as the end game, I think I played, like, try to... Well played. Yeah, that'd be 13 points. We are at... Um... Even if he kills me here and, like, doesn't go one and two and let me die after the zombies if, if, for those of you that don't understand the zombies get a placement right blue wins he gets first place the zombies usually get second place and then i would get third place but some players they have a good relationship or they respect for the game or whatever it is they like uh honor for their opponent whatever you want to call it uh sometimes they'll put the whole grind in to kill the zombies and then if the zombies are dead they can kill you and you'll get second zombies will get third uh, zombies always come back on their turn or sometimes two or three turns later, zombies will infect a stack and come back. 
But if, if they kill the zombies and then you on the same turn, the zombies would get third, you would get second. So I would get a couple extra points. And that would be a, just a good game respect thing, right? And I, I'm pretty sure I would have done the same thing to him. Uh, if, if we got to... Uh, I'm not going to waste any time. If we got to a state where I actually did get that orange kill, I'm pretty sure I would have offered him the same thing. If he was spamming white flags and fist bumps and thanks and, and good games and stuff like that, pretty sure I would have done the same thing. At least in this scenario, I'm, I'm completely at his mercy. That scenario, it's a little bit more uh, like if he has a trade on three and he has 120 stack that can see me. It, I, I guess that's a little more iffy. It, it would see how I feel in the moment there, right? Because maybe I would slider it down to a 30 and then have multiple stacks on the board and then feel better about that with fist bump. I don't, it's still risky. But in, in, in this scenario, if I ever got into this scenario in reverse, I would do the same thing. So looks like we're going to likely be able to uh, get, uh, sorry, 13 points. It would be second place would give me 10 points and then the one bounty would give me... Uh, Three more, so 13 points. First two rounds, I got a win with two bounties, and then I got a win with two bounties. So I got 18 points, 18 points, and then if it's 13, that'll put me at 18, 36, up to 49. 49 points is really strong. 100% down with that. And there's no like backstabbing him here or anything. Like if I if I was hide, holding a magical set on three and I just wasn't using it, and then I tried to backstab him at the opportune moment. A, that, of course, that's the douchiest thing I could possibly do. And then B, yeah. No, that, that's everything. That's the douchiest thing I could possibly do. I, I, I just wouldn't do that, right? Obviously. It's getting 36 attorney. Owns most of the board. Ah, uh, crap. I need to make sure. Uh, crap. I don't want to have a hidden stack. Because he's going to kill the zombies and then be in the same turn. Like, I'm hiding stacks, and, and that's actually stupid. I need him to be able to easily kill me. If, if, I, if, he, if I have a hit 11 here, and a 6 here, and a hidden 9, and he splits wrong, and he fails the kill on me, but he's killed the zombies first, then <laughs> the zombies might infect the stack and just knock me out or ruin his, his setup. I want to make this as easy for him as possible. He's doing me a favor right now. Yeah, he can do this. Now I can't get infected, and now you can see it. Well, I, I guess technically he could get infected on the 15. Like if he if he lowers the zombies a very low amount and then doesn't finish them, and they, they're low enough that they can infect, they could infect his 15 and kill me. It'd be a very sad day. Let's go, baby! I think he's going to get him now. A trade holding most of the board. Uh, it's looking like uh should be a GG. I respect a fast cleanup, too. Well played to my friend over here, Aqua Nix, Grandmaster from United Kingdom. We're definitely sitting in a decent spot in the tournament going into round four. Um, what is it? Round four, five, and six. The goal is to be in the top 18 after round six. Good game. Man, blocking that orange kill, boyo. Sad, sad day in Kilted Land. But that's the other thing. If you can't get a win, you can't always get a win in a game. Uh, the most important thing in a tournament that counts points and placements is survival. Um, make sure you're not getting last place or second last place. Make sure you're you're scraping some points out of there because every point matters to get deeper into the tournament. And I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to go back to back in the world championship. Obviously, it's incredibly unlikely, but obviously, I'm going to try to do my best. So, uh, yeah, we're, we had a successful day. We got a second place. We got one elimination. Very tough, snowball-y, weird settings. But actually, it was rather balanced for the most part with the blizzards. We didn't have like one super OP blizzard that did everything. And uh, I'm very happy White uh, tasted it after his fucking ram dingle on me, dickhole. All right, thank you guys for joining. Till the end of the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one.